My name is Stephanie Cassidy. I teach sixth grade science and math. And how many English learners do you have in your classes? Um, in that particular class, there are about seven English language learners, and then I teach a class in the afternoon that is strictly English language learners, so the entire class. Uh, one of the things that I did to plan for this lesson was read the paragraph over and over and over, uh, search for some academic vocabulary, the tier two, kind of those words that they're seeing all the time but may not understand. Also search for tier three words, words that we've already used. Um, and then specifically for the tier two, I came up with examples to try to get them to understand what the actual word means and try to give them a substitute words. So that took a lot of thinking to use that, that word in the sentence. Also, wait, I wanted to add one more thing. I wanted to add, um, I wanted to pick a text that they had already seen, that we had read once previous, but maybe we didn't delve really deep into it and get all those details. Uh, the purpose of this lesson was for students to try to recapture important details, learn how to pick out important details from what they read, in expository text specifically. A lot of times they skim over it, they lose a lot of important vocabulary words or important details, and so this kind of focuses them to stop, pay attention to details, and to be able to retell them to a partner or to a group. Uh, you know, it, I think it was successful. I wish we had more time. There are always many things that we can work on with our students. Um, group work tends to be difficult. Uh, they like to kind of nitpick at each other and be a little bit mean. And so working on being respectful would be one great thing that we work every day all year on. And then the second thing is asking them to really stop and think about vocabulary and details. That's another thing I think they could improve on. Um, the diamond notes that we use we use for every topic all of the time. So that works really well because although we use it in a specific format, in this lesson we use them all of the time for different things. So it's something they can rely on and they know how to use. Um, I also think working in partners before they worked in groups is also beneficial because it allows them to just work with one other person and not feel overwhelmed with a whole group. Um, Using a text that we've already read is beneficial because they've been exposed to it, they kind of understand the vocabulary, and they're not blindsided by the whole topic. Um, it supports English language learners because it really encourages vocabulary development, and that's one thing that the English language learners really struggle with. Words that we assume they know, they actually have no idea, and it really stops their learning. And so it helps them focus on learning those words and not being afraid of those words when they want to recreate a paragraph. It has evolved because I used to start with really, really short paragraphs to build their confidence and the paragraph or the paragraphs that I use today was actually longer and so it's evolved because it went from short paragraphs not a lot of vocabulary words not a lot of detail to a little bit longer more vocabulary words more detail and then today this was uh, the most detail the most vocabulary words and the longest so um, it's amazing to hear them use more tier two words and also it really concretes their learning of the tier three words. It goes beyond just the definition, the picture. They're actually applying these words in their paragraphs and they get a deeper understanding. So it's not just in the paragraphs that I hear the two tier two words, it's actually in their vocabulary outside of the lesson that we taught. So that's kind of neat to see. <laughs> From this one here, one of our vocabulary words the word result I used in one of my previous um, lessons and at first there I thought they understood the word perfectly result 
And I found out through this vocabulary lesson before we read the paragraph that they didn't actually understand what result was. Mm -hmm. And so then once we talked about it as a group and then they used it in their retail paragraph, I was hearing a lot of students talk about the results on the STAR test or my results from my formative. And so then I knew like, oh wow, they really understand that word now instead of fake understand it, you know, like use it in a definition. So it, it became real to them because they realized their performance on something has results or their action, their actions have results. And so that was neat to hear them make that connection. Yeah, that's uh, Don't, like, you just have to kind of dive in because when I first saw this roll out in January, which was four months ago, I thought, oh, this looks very painful. This is very difficult for the students. And I just started with a very small paragraph. I wanted them to feel success. And I was amazed how excited they were to see how close they could get. And that was kind of my motivation to keep going. I would then add in just a little bit more detail, a little bit more, and just keep going with it. And it actually, once you have the format down, it's really easy to include in your class weekly, daily, if you, I mean, if you really wanted to. So it's, a, it's an easy process, but it does seem intimidating at first because it's hard for the students.